I will create a sphere. I right click sphere, but I need to subdivide them, subdivide it because it has a low number of faces. Vertex and edges, so I select it by at body mode B and right click is move is we will subdivide our face to give the object a smoother appearance. It's done. Space bar to deselect all. You already know to select a single edge and hit L to select the entire edge loop or spacebar. Select an edge and hit G to select the entire edge ring. In this case, rings found a path here. That's because these, these ones were selected. Spacebar to deselect and set you by hitting R at the board. You already know to select a single edge and grow edge ring by Alt G and shrink edge ring by Ctrl Alt G. You can grow edge loop by Alt L and shrink edge loop by Ctrl Alt L. Okay, spacebar to the select, select a single edge, L to select the entire edge loop, and go here, select edge loop. You have two commands here next edge loop F7, previous edge loop F6. So let's try it in keyboard F6, F7, F6, F7. Okay, okay. I numerous, there are numerous ways to work with this. Select an entire edge loop, out into it to grow edge ring, F to convert it to face. Okay, select a single edge loop, L to entire, a single edge, L to the complete edge loop. Then I will alt G to grow at ring selection, and here you have select, deselect previous. Okay, deselect previous. Alt G to grow again at ring, and select, deselect previous. Alt G to grow at ring, and select. The select previous. So you can enumerate things with this. For example, with this edge loop selected, I can't I can bevel them and I can extrude the spaces along their normals. So I will have something like this view shift that what we do with this selection operation. 